Sylvie here in her kitchen. I hope you guys are all doing well. But it's quite chilly, isn't it? It's cold, right? And it's going to even get more cold. So I'm here in Barrie and I am freezing. It is like minus 18 degrees. So I feel like some hot, savory, healthy soup. So I'm going to be making a cauliflower vegetable soup. Had some extra cauliflower kicking around in my kitchen and I thought, you know what? Let's make some soups. I wanted to come on, give you some ideas with the deluxe cooking blender. Whatever fit on my cutting board was going in my soup. I was being a little fun there. I was like, okay, if it fits, it's going in. So the deluxe cooking blender makes soup from scratch because uh, it doesn't um, work with friction and heat. It actually cooks as, and heats up as it's actually blending your vegetables. So you start off with some um, liquid. So right here, I've got two and a half cups of uh, one cup of milk and one and a half cups of water. Just called for two and a half cups of water, but I thought, let's make it a little creamy, a little bit more savory. So let's add a little bit of milk. Um, and I normally don't even have milk in my house, but we did for this one occasion we needed a recipe for, so I'm gonna use up the milk. Uh, then I'm going to add, you just kind of, all the all the uh, steps and stuff are right in the, in the um, cooking guide, but I'm just gonna kind of go with it from there. We're gonna add the cauliflower, so I'm gonna just dump it in. So just super chunky. You can do any vegetables you want. I actually made beet soup. I'm not sure if you saw that, but I made that a couple weeks ago. It was so super delicious, surprisingly, super delicious. I really liked it. I'm gonna add the cauliflower. So it calls for two and a half cups of um, cauliflower. And then I'm gonna add some, some parsley to give it a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of carrot, like one carrot, didn't even peel it, just chopped it up chunky chunky. Again, it's gonna blend. Um, a little bit of onion. I had some red onion in the house. I'm gonna use onion. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just kind of looking there. That's a little bit better. So you can see my blender being filled up. Uh, some fresh garlic. Garlic's gonna add a little bit of zest and flavor, of course. Um, jalapeno, little trick and secret to making amazing uh, soups. Adding a little bit of heat. Then I'm adding a little bit of ginger, some celery. I'm filling it up and pushing it down because I'm gonna make sure it blends okay. And uh, some salt. And then I'm gonna to add to it when it's all set and done, a little bit of grated cheese, okay? You can do that and then you can add a little bit of bacon bits if you wanted to. You can probably even make it um, potato cauliflower. That carrot will fit in there, why not? A little bit of salt. These grinders, Pampered Chef grinders are amazing. I don't know if you guys know, but what happens when you buy grinders? They don't work after a while, right? So ours has a patent crush mechanism in them that they won't clog and they're beautiful and they come on the stand. And this is the Himalayan sea salt um, one and then I've got the five pepper. Now I'm gonna add a little secret spice that I can't really re divulge right now because it's coming out in the new catalog. But let me just give you a little hint. I've got some kind of onion flavoring so you can use a three onion rub or in this case I'm going to add this little secret so if you want to know what the new uh, products are you might want to message me or perhaps have a party they all come out as of um, March so anyway don't want to give that away lid goes on okay hear that little noise there and this blender again oh god love it all you got to do is turn the dial to soup, okay? Because there's um, smoothies, milks, you can do butters and um, peanut butter. You've got the heated wash. Oh, it washes itself, guys, it's amazing. Uh, your soup that I'm using, heated puree, uh, jam, and sauce. And the heated puree, you can also use the cauliflower, guys, and you can puree that, and you can use that as a topping for, uh, if you're doing like shepherd's pie to avoid the uh, potatoes, right? So that's a really nice alternate health as well, healthy option. Push the button, guys and then it just cooks in 30 minutes. I'm gonna have hot, savory. Um, I don't want it loud, not that loud. Over my voice, it's a bit loud. Uh, hot, savory vegetable soup. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.